All right, we're gonna try and bring y'all through the first part since they're sandblasting behind the house and it is some kind of noisy. This is my wood pile. I'm looking at it trying to find some wood, but I'm a little bit scared to get up in it because of the snake that I found last year. Wound up just cutting a piece off of a log that was in the yard. I think this is maple. It's kind of spalted. See the spalting? It's starting to deteriorate. Cut me a square out of it, marked the center uh, so I could put it up on my lathe. Now I'm just kind of, well, I'm just kind of lathing it. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I'm shaping it, making it round, and cutting me a little hole so I could chuck it up on my other chuck. Now I'm drilling a hole in it through the center. I had some riveting footage of my back and my arm there, but I decided to cut that out. Cutting through this, just kind of whittling down the wood, shaping the outside a little bit. It actually cuts pretty good, but it old wood kind of likes to chip out. Sand a little bit, mark it a little bit where my slate's going to go, or whatever you call it. There's some more riveting photo of my shoulder. I'm just kind of hollowing it out now. See that little ridge in there? That's where the soundboard's going to go. Right, let's on, see, let's see, see if this will fit in there now. Looks like it's about close, do it? It's the next day. While I was working on the lathe, I had grandbabies come. And then I had more grandbabies come. And the next thing I knew, it was dark 30. <clears throat> and then the next thing I knew, it turned from 70 something degrees to 20 something degrees. Wind's blowing like crazy outside, so I came inside. I went ahead and sealed the outside of it. I got my soundboard, which is nothing but a piece of copper, and it's just resting on a ridge in there that I had worked out on the lathe. I got me a ridge here. I don't know if you can see that too good. I got a ridge. And now I got my slate. This is actually, hold on, that's not slate. My brain just went dead. I can't think of what you call this. I'll look it up. And if I think about it, I'll put it in the description. What's going to happen, this is going to go on top of that. But I need to glue it in so it don't fall out. I've glued the copper in. I've got some holes in the bottom. So let me glue this in. Get out! And don't worry about getting it all over everything. Get a wipe up and it dries clear, I think. If it don't, at the end of the day, it's just a turkey call. And I'm a hobby turkey call maker. I'm not a professional. And it will work. You want to have a good pair of boots that you can wipe the glue on. Makes your boots waterproof. Alright, now I'm just going to drop that in there. I'm going to try and center it as best as I can. And look at there. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set something on top of this. Let it dry. Then I'll come back and see what it sounds like. I may have said that this was cypress earlier in the video, I don't know. But it's actually part of that tree that I'd cut down. I think it was a maple. Uh, I'm not sure. It was spalted. It was starting to deteriorate, but I was able to get some of it. Not the best turning wood in the world. It's got some places in it. It's got a piece right there that was a knot or something that's kind of come off. But it's still useful, as you heard, obviously. God bless you, and I hope y'all have a good day.